tropical storm. We were saying we expected to become a hurricane. It did. And then we said sometime this weekend it would become a major hurricane. That forecast is progressing quickly. It's moving into an area just allowing for explosive development. To put this in uh, context, the definition of rapid, rapid intensification is 35 miles per hour intensification in 24 hours. This went from 70 to 130 in the last 24 hours. Just absolutely tight core with this. We do have those watches in place. Parts of the Leeward Islands closer to the storm center. Now here's the good news for us. The forecast still very confident. This is going to pass about 500 miles east of Jacksonville, even east of the Bahamas, but we're still going to be looking at some side effects here. And, and here's a look at kind of the model consensus, by the way, high pressure towards the north, high pressure over our just towards our north. That interaction uh, really just going to cause this move towards north. Now, with that said, this interaction right here is going to cause a stiff northeasterly wind across the first coast, especially on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, bringing in that risk of increased rip currents, high tides, as well as maybe some beach erosion out there as well. So that's going to be our impacts here. It is not going to make landfall in Florida, but like I said, side effects still not a fish storm. I mean, parts of the Caribbean are feeling the impacts from this, so we are going to continue to monitor it here at First Coast News and make sure you check out firstcoastnews.com slash Hurricane Central. All right, Robert.